Hey guys, just a simple comment on, on Lady Macbeth if you are doing a question about her or a question about her relationship with Macbeth. Um, let's consider her name for a quick second. Have her own ambition because naturally, you know, the child is, is kind of stripped away from her and motherhood is stripped away from her so that she feels his ambition, which is obviously uh, the crown. This thing I say is going to be quite obvious, but nobody ever comments on the fact that she, she, she goes without a name, so lack of identity, which obviously will bring up our contextual marks in which is her position within the patriarchal society at the time that she almost doesn't have a value. We can then start doing, if we've really studied the players, we can then look at the division of their relationship in the immediate aftermath of the regicide when Macbeth says to her, I'll go no more. Not only do we go from a 10 syllable count to five, so literally the syllable count is Second of all, what it stands to do as well when we've got Lady and then Macbeth is it serves to kind of magnify the notion that she's almost just the feminine version of him, which then supports the theories of the ASA Bradley and your Harold Bloom, who said that she didn't half showing the division of the infamous Machiavellian pair. But also after that, we've got that notion that Macbeth is reborn without her.